Hey, it's Mike from Make Magazine, and we are thrilled because we just got our Formlabs Form 1 printer in the office, and we can't wait to open it up. You can see right here, it comes, the package comes with uh, three boxes. Uh, we've got a resin kit, we've got our finishing kit, and then the bad boy, the printer, and this thing right here. So let's take a peek and see how they do this. You can see with the uh, form labs, one of the things that I think is really stellar is that they've nailed design. They've got uh, a beautifully designed printer, but they've also mirrored that with the box itself. Simple line art that shows exactly what the printer looks like. And they've got their distinct font for, uh, for form labs, their little logo here. Uh, decent sized box, about 28 pounds, according to the shipping manifesto. And it's taped together pretty neatly. All right, inside the box, here's how it comes. See, we've got our invoice, packing slip, uh, safety first, packaging and returns info sheet and a quick start guide that uh, steps you through all of the steps of getting your Form 1 put together and running up to speed. Now, one of the things that people say about this printer is that it is very simple to get up and running. And so this will be fun to test it out as we get it together. So there's a saran wrap suspension that is holding this in place in here. You can see we've got the top sheet here, which is uh, mirrored on the bottom. The printer is sitting between these two halves, and it is balanced in there. That helps keep it safe during transit. And then the printer itself, once you take that top piece out, just lifts right out. This is nice. Not too heavy. This is it. That distinct orange case with the aluminum bottom. And it's held together with some slightly tacky, but not very tacky tape. So let's pull this off and get inside the printer itself. This tape is holding these cardboard strips in place, which have just been placed there for helping with uh, shipping. But we'll pull those right out once this comes off as well. And this just peels apart real easily. There's no residue. Here on the back, there's a little bit of overlap, so just finding the end of this tape, pulling it off, on both sides, let's bring this back around. You can see this cardboard has already fallen right off. Top this up. Here it is. This thing's pretty great. This top lid swings open. That's got a really nice feel to it. it it's a hinge that it holds itself in place. That feels real nice. No matter what angle you put it at. The uh, acrylic of this orange top here, it's looks like it's probably about eighth of an inch thick. And a nice consistent color. Now right here, this is the tray that you fill with the resin, so this comes out. Put your resin inside this tray, put it back inside. You can see if you want to take a peek in here. There's a, you can see some of the electronics, the mirror for the, uh, for the projection system that uses the light to then harden the resin as it 
goes through the, uh, the printer here. And then this is the platform that pulls that print out right out of, out of that, that liquid resin. Very cool. And on the back, we got two ports. Got our USB, got our power port. That's it. Serial number, Zippy Squeaker, version zero one. This is, this is the real deal. Really excited about this one. Now, also comes with uh, these other two boxes, the resin. Let's see what we got. If I'm not mistaken, this should be clear resin. Yep, this is the clear resin, light sensitive. Comes in this dark bottle. Definitely don't want to leave that open, especially in front of a big window. And then the finishing kit itself. So this one opens here on the front. Another setup sheet. You can see the pieces in here. We've got our rinse basket. It's inside this plate, the, the tray here. This piece right here, the, the lifting platform, this pulls out. And when you have your finished print hanging from it, you pull it out, you flip it upside down, and it sits right inside of the finishing kit here. You can see these four legs. Uh, you can then pop it off of there. You fill this with, I believe, with isopropyl alcohol, and you, uh, and I still need to figure out how this part is going to, to get utilized, but I think this might be, maybe that's a, this, this pops together. I think this is a, a basket that you help put the, the part on and dip it into the finishing kit of the alcohol here to help clean off any of that unhardened uh, liquid resin that uh, is, is left from when it lifts out of the platform here. What else is included in here? We've got a our scraper, squeeze bottle, tweezers, an absorbent pad. Open this up, pull these out. Here's our spray bottle, absorbent pad, scraper. Pop that print out right off this platform. Another, uh, that would be. Well, what is this one then? We've got our, oh, this is the top of the basket. This is the absorbent pad here. So the top of the basket has this uh, foam piece on top of it. And the top of the squeeze bottle and our tweezers to help get any of those little, little pieces out of there. These feel like high quality tweezers, very fine point on them. You can see that, but those are precise tweezers. This is the Form 1. I can't wait to get this thing set up, see what it does.